In this video, we are going to learn how to lay the foundations in order to build a retaining wall. They will ensure the solidity of the wall and mean that it is stable and therefore that it won't collapse under the weight of the earth. The width of the base should be at least half of the height of the wall and it should be a minimum of 40 centimeters. If the retaining wall is one meter high, the base should therefore be at least 50 centimeters in width. Before beginning the work, it is important to check the weather forecast. The base needs a drying period of two to three days during which it is important that it does not rain. In this example, we will need a cement mixer, a wheelbarrow, a shovel, a spade, a pickaxe, a sledgehammer, a pair of pliers, a measuring tape, a level, a masonry ruler, a grouter, stakes, some string, and a grinder. Also remember the safety equipment. We will also need remesh frames, rebars, annealed wire, concrete and gravel. Step 1. Mark the place in which you want to dig the foundations. In order to do this, place the wooden stakes into the soil at each end of the future wall. Stretch the string and attach it to the stakes. Measure the width of the foundations. In this case, our foundations are 50 centimeters in width. Mark this line in the same way. Step 2. Dig foundations of 60 centimeters deep in order to ensure they will remain sheltered from the cold during freezing temperatures. You can use a shovel and a pickaxe in order to dig, and a spade to ensure that the sides are straight. Step 3. Flatten the bottom of the ditch with a gardening tamper or the back of a rake. Cover the bottom 10 centimeters with gravel or small stones. This part, called the hedgehog, creates a stable bed for future foundations. Check the level using the masonry ruler. Now cut the remesh to the correct length. It is now time to prepare the concrete. Pour a 20 cm thick layer along the length of the foundations. Spread it out using a shovel. If the remesh frames are not long enough, then slot two together in order to reach the desired length. Attach them together with annealed wire and immerse them in the concrete. Fill the ditch to the top evenly. Using a masonry ruler, check and adjust the level if necessary. Finish by smoothing the concrete wall with a trowel. Leave it to dry for two or three days before continuing the construction. If the wall which will be built is a concrete wall, then lay the vertical chaining at intervals of two to three meters. For retaining walls, the rebar should be further apart. The base will be wider on the side of which the ground slopes. This step will ensure that the wall is stable and is more resistant to the force exerted by the ground. Continue this lesson by watching the second part, how to build a retaining wall, the wall.